Hey everybody, this is a Jim at FreeChartVideos.com using time-honored techniques to keep you out of trouble and to get me into trouble. <laughs> Sometimes that's the way it works. Now we use time-honored techniques to understand modern markets, to apply these old-school charting techniques that uh, help us get a feel for where, where things are headed. And I'll remind you this video is for educational purposes only and it is not intended to be used as any form of investment advice. Look, I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. And I am not a licensed professional. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. So let's look at the S&P. This is interesting. Here we are looking at an hourly chart just to give us a frame of reference uh, for this inverted head and shoulders pattern. And I mentioned uh, in yesterday's video that it looked like we were starting the downward uh, back test phase. And for sure, I mean, we started it late yesterday and, and uh, definitely uh, this continued today. We're going to take a look at the, at the little channel that developed off this uh, high. And uh, but but in the big context, remember what we're expecting out of this pattern is a move to the high 1420s, even as high as 1430 as a minimum target. How do we get that? Well, we take the neckline, which is this line right here. What makes this the neckline? Well, we look at the head of the pattern and we look at the peak that forms on either side of that head. And then we draw that line. Then we measure the depth of the head from the neckline and then we add that on to the spot where the breakout occurred and that's what we get. We get uh, roughly, uh, you know, I've been calling it 1425, 1430, um, you know, that's good enough. We, we watch it if and when we get there. I say if because these patterns, while they're uh, highly reliable, they are not 100% because nothing is 100%. Um, so let look here. Uh, by the way, interesting to note, left shoulder, right shoulder, same low. That was identical to the last inverse head and shoulders that formed after the flash crash uh, and that broke out uh, past, this past fall. So we're looking at a smaller version of, of that head and shoulders right now. And, um, and we did get some, uh, some pullback today. I said uh, uh, in the introduction, I said uh, uh, helping you to stay out of trouble and getting me into trouble. I have been snake bit for about two weeks now. Um, I'm, I'm getting, you know, I'm looking at charts and I'm seeing things where everything lines up just the way it should. And then it just breaks down. Or, you know, it says this should be the bounce right here, and it says, no, nah, not today. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of the trouble has been in the solar stocks, and I don't know whether that's because the uh, because of the um, just the way they trade or what, but I'm about ready to just say maybe those guys in biotechs need to, need to be in the same bag, uh, and that is just don't mess with them. You know, try, try things that are a little bit... Uh, that are a little bit more reliable in the way they behave. So anyway, that aside, uh, let's let's look at this uh, small channel that developed um, actually at the top of yesterday, and you can see that this um, pattern. Let me see if I, I need to grab this little line there. Here we go. Okay. So here is uh, the top that we made yesterday. Osama bin Laden uh, been killed and all is right with the world. The markets are going to go to the moon. And that's the day that we, that we set up for a one day. Um, well, it's called it a one day, but it, it basically it's a swing day. Now, you'll see I drew this line right here. And I'll show you why I drew that. What does that look like? Well, this looks like a standard head and shoulders. Now, before you get too worried and think, oh no, that means we're at the top of the S&P, I'll remind you this pattern is less than one day old, but when that neckline broke, it came back, tried to back test it, broke down, 
came back to the neckline, failed, came back to the neckline again, then started heading down. And now, uh, surprise, um, this little channel uh, was broken at the end of the day today, which tells me we're probably near the end of this uh, back test. Uh, if we measure this little tiny pattern here, you can see that that does work out with um, the minimum downside, but that still doesn't take this all the way back down to either of the uh, lines that I expect to be tested. I'm really thinking that, uh, that we're going to see the, uh, the mid-1340s. Uh, before this is all over. I could be wrong, but let me tell you how I think that may happen. Let's see what happens tomorrow. This move late day, sometimes these things late in the day hold, sometimes they, they follow through. Other times, uh, you know, it's just kind of a spasmodic reaction, maybe shorts thinking I better cover here because you never know. And uh, so I'm still thinking we get down into this area one way or the other. There, there, it could happen a couple different ways. One is we could just get slammed back into the pattern and go right, you know, just this doesn't matter right here. This, this breakout is false. And we, uh, and we get back into this channel and we go down here for another touch. You can see, by the way, this channel is really well defined. We got one, call this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, touches uh, all told that define that channel. So what do we know about channel breaks? Well, if it's a descending channel and it breaks up, usually this line will hold, but I'm, I'm reserving judgment on that until we see where we open tomorrow. Um, again, you know, I, I just want to see more than that little spurt we got at the end of the day. Um, I would expect in any case whether we whether the, if this is a legitimate breakout then I would expect resistance here and I would expect a pullback to this line so if we break up out of this pattern tomorrow and we and we uh, move up and uh, find resistance here and then pull back at some point in the day and it could be that we go sideways for a while and we end up back testing this uh, on Thursday I don't know but I think this line, if when it is for sure broken, should get a, a back test. Just like we're back testing this line and this line, this line should also get a back test. And if it does, when it does, that is the point at which you decide whether or not you, you trust um, the, the uh, larger inverse head and shoulders pattern and the back test on this line. And uh, that, that's a good spot um, to expect a bounce and the, um, and the um, resumption of the uptrend from this uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern. Again, just to remind you, to get this in perspective, that's a little bit down and then expecting a good bit up. Um, and really, if we stay in this general uh, trend line, this could be an, an instance where sell and may and go away uh, makes monkeys out of people. Because this pattern is very well formed. The breakout is unmistakable. We're in a pullback that's looking like it's beginning to firm up now. And everything looks like we're going to end up at 1430 before this is all said and done. And it may just may take place... The, the lion's share of that move will likely take place in May. So, uh, by the way, when people say a sell in May and go away, what they really mean is if you look at selling in, in May, staying out of the markets for five months and coming back in October, statistically, that's they say is a, is a pretty good thing to do. It's not like sell in May and then, then buy back on June 1st. Because if you look over the past uh, 10 years, uh, you would have missed, you, you actually would have done yourself harm by doing that. Uh, but do, do the math for yourself. So anyway, that's the S&P update for today. 
and again, I'm looking forward to a bounce here because uh, I guess I guess my stuff was just mostly small caps. They got a lot of my stuff just got hammered today. Uh, M Corp, bleh, don't even want to think about it. Um, so anyway, look, that's the scoop. And look, oh, this line. I drew this line as a parallel from this bottom line. And I'm just, it's, it's just there for jollies for right now. Just kind of thinking. It may or may not be the case. It may or may not uh, have, have any real relevance because we can see that some of these moves are accelerated more than this um, when, when we move up in earnest. But uh, I put it there anyway because what I was wanting to see was if there's correlation between this top and this top. So any, that's, the, uh, that's the chart and video for today. I appreciate you taking time to watch and listen. If you get a chance, come visit us at freechartvideos.com where we use time-honored techniques to keep you out of trouble and put me into trouble. Nah, it's not that bad. Take care.